back. Well, if you haven't checked out my video, I had 100 octane of Cam 2 race gas, full tank of gas, in my 335i so I can run the race map 7 for the JB4. Stacked on with the back end flash that I have, it's going to target 20 PSI. If you haven't seen that video, I go and fill up, do some test runs and all that. Check the video up right above. Well, so here's the problem, right? Driving along and l reviewing some logs, the the poles felt nice. So, you know, just normal driving, everything seemed great. So when I started doing those data runs, the car felt really strong. You can just tell it was like, yeah, this is on a race map, you know, compared to my map one that I've been running for a while. The problem is, is that it bleeds off boost after 15 PSI. So I reach around 15, wastegate duty cycle hits 99%, and it's not making it to 20 PSI at all. So the problem was is that it, when I did those runs, it was working great, right? It would hit, it would get pretty much pretty close. So a little bit off is not bad, right? But the more I did the runs, I was definitely noticing that a my wastegate duty cycle was maxed out 99% and it wasn't giving me any more than 15 PSI, even though it was trying to target 20 PSI. So that was part of the problem. Uh, I did some runs again today same thing again it would bleed off a little bit more now when I go to map one and do that I'm around 16.5 psi not just 15 so it likes map one a little bit better than map seven uh, with the wastegate duty cycle maxing out basically map one it's strong just because of just the parameters but map seven trying to get to 20 psi it just it just craps out early that's part of the problem there so what I did is I overnighted some boost solenoids now, my solenoids are all original, so 156,000 mile. I'm not getting any 30 FF code, so that's one thing. Uh, secondly, I checked all my vacuum lines. All those look good from what I can see. I mean, I went through them before, I went through them again. So I didn't see anything that would concern me uh, as far as the vacuum lines and all that. So with the boost solenoids being original ones, I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna replace those. I'll go step by step to see why it's bleeding anything off. Uh, it's been strong ever since before then, and I never changed anything else. Uh, so that's what's kind of strange to say the least. But when I went back to look at some logs, I did notice that I did hit 99% wastegate duty cycle before. Uh, I just never really looked back at the logs, uh, and then it would drop. Then it would drop down to like 50%. So I'm bleeding something off somewhere, and it's not consistent. That's the problem. Because I could run on map one, and I could do that. Uh, and it will show like 50% duty cycle, but I go map seven and it'll max it out. So obviously problem there, but overnighted the boost solenoids, I'm gonna be getting those in. I'm gonna be showing you guys the DIY on how to change those. They're very simple, but I know I've got asked previously as far as how to change those out. So we'll do that DIY here in the next few days because I wanna get that going. Install, re-logging, videos to show you that. Hopefully it doesn't bleed any more boost off after I replace the solenoids, but like I said, being originals and I'm trying to target 20 PSI, it just might be, you know, they're 10 years old. I'm gonna do that, we'll test that, we'll see what it does, and we'll take a step by step. If it's not that, or that helps a little bit, but there's still somewhere a leak, then uh, we'll try to trace it down. I still have plenty of 100 octane in my tank, a lot more videos to come on that. This is a great opportunity to show you guys as far as figuring out a boost leak, you know, firsthand, right? Because I'm losing it somewhere and I gotta figure out where so I can get to that 20 PSI, and I should have no problem at least reaching that. Stay tuned for those DIY videos and some of those other videos that will come right off of that. Thanks for stopping in, and have a good one.